There are more than 180 cars sitting in Jay Leno's garage. While some are unimaginably expensive, several others are simply one of a kind. So let's take a look at 10 rarest cars in Jay Leno's garage. Starting with number 10, the 1939 Lagonda V12, 100 units produced. From homologated Le Mans car, we move over to a near-carbon copy Le Mans race car, the 1939 Lagonda V12. Only two original Le Mans Lagonda V12 were made, and none are in Leno's garage. He does own a wonderfully recreated replica of the 1939 race car, and it's extremely rare, too. According to H&H &H Auctions, only about 100 of these 1939 Le Mans Lagonda V12 replicas survive today. Powering this stellar-looking race car was, of course, a gorgeous naturally aspirated 4.5-liter V12 engine that churned out around 200 horsepower. Despite the Lagonda V12 being rare and difficult to drive, Leno still stretches its legs occasionally. Number 9 is the 1953 Cunningham C3, with 25 units produced. With only 25 examples of the Cunningham C3 Coupe in existence, it remains the least rare on our list somehow. The Cunningham C3 had only one goal in mind, to be a homologation special. By building 25 units of the Cunningham C3, Briggs Cunningham, the mastermind behind the C3, hoped he could enter the 24 hours of Le Mans races alongside Jaguar, Aston Martin, and so forth. It's surreal to think Jay Leno got the chance to pick one of these up. Number 8, 1963, Chrysler Turbine, 9 units. The Space Age produced some pretty iconic cars. One of them was the Chrysler Turbine car, which was built in the early 60s when Jay Leno was just 14 years old. The Chrysler Turbine car had a stunning body built by renowned Italian design house Carrozzeria Ghia, and as its name suggests, it was powered by a turbine. Chrysler built 55 turbine cars including five prototypes and 50 cars for a public user program that Chrysler hoped would help it know whether to put it into production or not. Sadly, the user program exposed several problems that ultimately made Chrysler abandon the project, including the car's complex starting procedure, subpar fuel economy, and relatively unimpressive acceleration. As a result, Chrysler reclaimed and destroyed all but nine turbine cars. Chrysler has two of the remaining cars, six are on display in various museums across the U.S., and the only one in a private collection belongs to none other than Jay Leno. Number 7, 1989 Ford Shogun, 7 units. In the late 80s, Ford partnered with Yamaha to build one of the coolest American sleeper cars of all time, the Taurus Show. The Taurus Show shared its body shell with the standard Taurus, but had a different drivetrain, a Yamaha 3-liter DOHC V6 with 220 horsepower on tap. It also had a 5-speed manual transmission. Impressed with the Taurus, American engineer Chuck Beck had the crazy idea of taking its drivetrain and stuffing it into the Ford Festiva, to create one of the coolest hot hatches of the day. The result was the Festiva Shogun. Beck even started a company with a plan to build 250 examples of the hot hatch. Ford initially loved the idea and was even planning to provide Beck with the show engines directly, but the deal fell through after executives test drove the car. In the end, Beck only built seven cars, including the prototype, and Jay owns one of them. Number 6, 2010 Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, two units. None of Koenigsegg's cars are, how do we say, mass-produced. But the 2010 Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita takes the cake for being the rarest Koenigsegg ever. To be exact, only two CCXR Trevita examples exist, of which one was Floyd Mayweather's. He has since sold it for $2.6 million. Why so much, you ask? Apart from the staggering twin-supercharged 4.8-liter V8, that punches north of 1,000 horsepower and 796 pound-feet of torque, 
Many of its components are diamond-infused. Talk about flexing your jewelry. Number 5, 1950 Mercedes-Benz race car transporter. Two units produced. Even way back when, car brands who competed in big races needed to transport their cars to the racetrack safely. Mercedes-Benz's answer to this conundrum was to build its own transporting truck in 1950. The 1950 Mercedes-Benz race car transporter was special in many ways. For starters, it shared some design cues with the legendary Mercedes-Benz 300 SL that set it apart from other race car transporters. It also had the 300 SL's powerful 3-liter straight-six engine, making it the fastest race car transporter with top speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Unfortunately, Mercedes-Benz destroyed the original 1950 race car transporter in the 60s since it was outdated, leading to a public outcry from people who loved it. After the backlash, Mercedes-Benz built an exact replica of the 1950 race car transporter, and it currently sits in the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Germany. Another replica was built by a Swedish gentleman shortly after, and years later Jay Leno acquired it and restored it. Leno now uses it to transport his race cars. Number 4, 1934 Duesenberg Walker Coupe, one unit produced. This is what you call road-hugging weight, but it accelerates nicely. It pulls, I mean, the car is 6,000, it's three tons. Many Duesenberg cars came to fruition throughout history, but the most expensive doozy ever made, at least when referring to MSRP at the time, the 1934 Duesenberg Walker Coupe takes the cake. Back in 1934, it had a sticker price of $25,000, which is over $500,000 in 2024. Apart from it being drop-dead gorgeous, only one Duesenberg Walker Coupe was ever made. Duesenbergs typically are some of the most expensive American cars sold at auction, so you can imagine how much the Walker Coupe would go for if Jay Leno were to sell it today. 1963 Jaguar XKE, one unit produced. The Jaguar E-Type is undoubtedly one of the best British sports cars of all time, and with many produced, one would wonder why it's on a rare cars list. However, Jay Leno's E-Type is different from the others. For the average onlooker, Jay Leno's 1963 Jaguar XKE looks nearly identical to any other E-Type, but it's rather special. Contrary to other Series 1 E-Types that retained a 3.8-liter inline-six, Leno's 1963 Jaguar XKE used a custom 5.7-liter V12, but it doesn't stop there. This particular XKE is the only short wheelbase XKE that features a V12 in the world, which is why it deserves a spot on this list. Number 2, 2006 GM EcoJet Concept, one unit produced. One of the rarest cars Jay Leno owns is one that no one else had the chance to buy, the 2006 GM EcoJet, which is one of the coolest American concept cars. Despite the EcoJet being not much more than a concept car, it opened everyone's eyes to alternative methods to traditional internal combustion engines. In the middle of the EcoJet laid a turbine engine that used biodiesel fuel. In fact, it put out a staggering, 650 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Since then, another collaboration between GM and Jay Leno is yet to take place. Number one is the 1931 Shotwell with one unit produced. Never heard of the 1931 Shotwell before? Well, don't worry, we barely knew of it beforehand, too. That said, the story behind the 1931 Shotwell is incredible, and it's all thanks to Bob Shotwell. 
When Shotwell was 17 years old, he decided to put his hands to work and crafted the Shotwell car by hand. The Shotwell used an Indian motorcycle's engine and had three wheels, two in the front and one in the rear. Thereafter, Shotwell drove the car a total of 150,000 miles. Over the years, the Shotwell accumulated a lot of damage, but thankfully, Jay Leno acquired it and gave it a full restoration. As you might know, being hand-built, only one Shotwell exists, and it's nesting in Jay Leno's garage.